for a very special tribute tonight. Please welcome the founder of the Michael Clark Duncan Charitable Foundation, Omarosa Manigo. Good evening. Kim Murphy is one such woman. Kim is a Pulitzer Prize winner. She is a current national editor of the Los Angeles Times, and she has worked with someone very special from the IWMF, our 1998 Courage Award winner, Elizabeth Neufer, when they covered the US intervention in the Persian Gulf side by side. This year marks the 10th anniversary of Elizabeth's death. She was a very remarkable woman and was deeply committed to reporting. Unfortunately, she was killed in Iraq one month before her 47th birthday. Please welcome to the stage Miss Kim Murphy for a very special tribute to Elizabeth. I have the honor of talking about my colleague Elizabeth Neufer, who uh, unfortunately is no longer with us. She was uh, a journalist in just the best tradition. She, uh, as a pretty young reporter, covered the conflict in Rwanda. She witnessed the fall of the Soviet Union. She covered the collapse of Yugoslavia, uh, did stunning work in documenting uh, the war crimes and atrocities that occurred there. Uh, back in 1990, I had the opportunity to go with her into uh, Kuwait to cover the first Gulf War. She was part of, uh, back in 1990, you have to understand, being a woman and covering the Middle East was something that just really hadn't happened up until then. Uh, uh, I had been sent to the Middle East by the LA Times. Carol Murphy was there for the Washington Post. Carol Morello for the Philadelphia Inquirer. Uh, Susan Sachs for Newsday. We all ended up, uh, Christian Amanpour for CNN. She was a cub reporter at the time. We all ended up in Saudi Arabia. Uh, and obviously we had the problem of driving and getting to Kuwait. Uh, we enlisted Bill, <clears throat> Bill Dowell of Time Magazine to uh, drive our Isuzu trooper up through Saudi Arabia. Uh, and we pulled into Kuwait City, I remember, and it was just the most amazing scene. Um, people cheering in the streets, lifting us on their shoulders. Uh, bodies uh, of, in the streets. It was uh, Elizabeth who managed to latch on to a translator and a driver for us. She immediately arranged our program. She took us out to meet Kuwaitis who had, had uh, stories of what had happened during the Iraqi occupation, and she was just relentless in documenting everything that had happened during the Iraqi occupation. She wrote meticulous, thoroughly researched stories. After that, she went on to do really tremendous work uh, in the second Gulf War, uh, which unfortunately uh, took her life. And um, I retired from war correspondence. I was privileged to be able to say one day that, you know, I've had enough of it. Uh, the women that we're honoring tonight don't have the privilege of living in countries in which they can say, I choose not to write about conflict. They live conflict every day in their lives. And Elizabeth, I think, uh, made it clear that she was hoping for one day there would be a world that would be somewhat different than that. And we know that because she left behind a letter that was uh, written at the end of the last millennium in 1999. Here's what it says. To whomever finds this, this is being written at the end of 1999 and at the beginning of a new millennium. It is also the end of a century, what has been one of the bloodiest centuries ever seen. Despite the incredible advancements mankind has made in science, the arts, and medicine, as a foreign correspondent for the Boston Globe, which hopefully still is a newspaper that publishes in New England. That worked out pretty well so far. <laughs> I had some part in seeing some of this bloodshed while reporting on wars in the Gulf, Bosnia, and Rwanda. I would hope by the time you find this note, wars are extinct. But if they are not, please think again and stop them. 
I'd like to think the next millennium will be one in which people are not killed or prejudiced against because of their race, ethnicity, or religion. In fact, all of us in 1999 are counting on you to ensure the future is one of peace. Please make it so. Elizabeth Newfer. Let's remember that tonight and for a long time, shall we?